welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It's called the tarantula tag. And we will also be doing a rehousing for my Grandma Stole Polka Peas Pikachu. I've got her a new house lined up, so let's get to it. Okay, so now that we have a rehoused Pikachu, let's get to the actual tag part of this video. <laughs> Look at the questions that I wrote because I do not remember. Okay, first question is, what got you into tarantulas? What got me into tarantulas? So I've always been like into small pets and um, growing up I always had hermit crabs, hamsters, fish, all, all of those like gerbils, guinea pigs. <laughs> So I had a lot of pets growing up and it was always like a, a huge ordeal, very, you know, every kid is just like super over the moon to get, you know, a pet of their own. So as I got older, I started really get any, getting into fish and it was specifically betas. So I had like a ton of beta fish tanks at one time. Eventually my husband and I decided to have a baby. So whenever I became pregnant, we stopped taking in animals and as they you know went we did not replace them after my pregnancy and after having the baby um it's not like my interest in small animals went away it's just i was like super busy with a newborn and um didn't really think that much about you know getting new pets so one day i'm <laughs> actually getting to the part where this makes sense. Um, I was like sitting on the couch in our old apartment and I saw this like huge like spider on the window um, across the living room into the dining room and I was like wow that's a really big spider. So I for some reason grabbed a baby bottle and I just scooped the spider into the baby bottle and I kind of like did a little bit of research and figured out it was just like a jumping spider. And so I ended up going up to my local fish store, an exotic store, and I said, hey, I caught this giant jumping spider. I kind of want to keep it. Like, what should I put it in? And they gave me a deli cup with some substrate, and they told me to mist it once in a while and feed it, you know, crickets, which I had been doing from the gecko stash. I think he lived like maybe six months. But um, yeah, that, that's when I was like, okay, this is a really cool pet. Like, I don't really have to do that much. It's really cool to watch it take down prey. Like, I mean, I'm a little scared of spiders, but I could totally like deal with a tarantula. That'd be like really cool. Started really doing research on tarantulas and here I am a year later. <laughs> what was your first tarantula? My first tarantula was Wester, my Brachypilma albopilosum. I still have him. He's a mature male now. What is your favorite species? I'm pretty sure most people can guess, but it's Grimasol Polkra. Okay, call it basic, whatever. <laughs> I just, I have a thing for black animals and an all black pet rock is just something that I like. So whatever. What is your dream tarantula? So. I can't say it, but <laughs> the LSD Earth Tiger or T. Psychodelicus, I'm just gonna insert that 
here check it out it's a fossorial asian species um, my two favorite colors black and purple they're kind of expensive though and they're old world which i just currently do not keep any old world so yeah how many tarantulas do you currently have currently 17 Okay, so next I'm supposed to introduce you to one of my tarantulas. So I'm gonna introduce you to Charlie. Charlie is my can Acanthuscuria geniculata, or like giant Brazilian white knee, I think is the common name. Um, just molted, so I'm gonna go put Charlie back, but I think that this is a really cool spider. Now I'm supposed to feed one of my spiders. All right, we're gonna film Shadow, my grandma stole a pulchra the smaller of the two. What is one of your favorite channels on YouTube? Stop, this is so hard. I don't know why I made this a question, but I have so many. There's so many great channels on YouTube and so many people who inspired me to create my YouTube. So, you know, there's, this is hard. Dark Den. I really do love Petco's channel. It helped me when I first started getting into tarantulas along with many, 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 many others. But the Dark Den is um, one of my favorites. Do you have any other exotic animals other than tarantulas? Yes. Um, we have a crested gecko who is like three or four years old. I got him with my husband right after we saw Jurassic World. Um, I wanted a dinosaur and that wasn't gonna happen, so we got a crested gecko. Closest thing, right? We also have two corn snakes, and I've got some guppies for the baby. She loves fish. Um, Asian forest scorpion. I think that's it. All right, so the 10th question is basically to tag somebody on YouTube who makes their tarantula videos and ask them a specific question. So I'm gonna tag one of my good friends who taught me like pretty much most of the things I know, David uh, at e Erie Arachnids. I'm tagging him and David, I'm gonna ask you, what is your favorite brachypelma? I don't know the answer to this question, so I had to think about it and I was like, this is something I've never asked him or discussed. So, all right guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of different and a little bit maybe all over the place. I hope not, I'm gonna try to make it not, but we will see. If you are a new viewer, please hit that subscribe button. I try to make new videos twice a week, sometimes once, but this is all new to me, so let's get on this ride together. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. See ya!